Hey, welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're going to be going over the highest level potions in the game, the overloads. Now the traditional overload you unlock at level 96 and what it does is it boosts your magic, your ranged, attack, strength, and defense level all by a pretty significant amount for a grand total of 6 minutes. It does keep that maximum boost for the entire 6 minutes, refreshing it every 15 seconds. So if you're using something like Ceridome and Bruise or anything else that actually reduces your total levels, uh, it will be extremely good to use. I know Araxor actually does that with the one style that she uses, so overloads are almost essential at Araxor and basically all high level bosses. Now the first overload is very easy, all you need is a level 96 Herblore. Uh, and the other five types of overloads that you could potentially make are all unlocked in Prifundus and actually require a little bit more finagling to unlock. Uh, the first three are all at 97 Herblore. Uh, they are the Overload Salve, the Holy Overload Potion, and the Searing Overload Potion. All these have additional effects on top of the Overload Potion, but we will go over that when we talk about each one of them separately. At level 98, you can actually make Supreme Overload Potions that are even a better version of the initial Overload Potion. And at level 99, you can make a Supreme Overload Salve, which is basically a combination of Supreme Overload and the Overload Salve. To unlock all five of these different Overloads, what you're going to want to do is first off, go into Dungeoneering and just run some Dungeoneering floors. Occasionally, you will see a recipe on the ground. Uh, if you do have level 95 Dungeoneering, you can go into this mysterious entrance and get a card. Uh, the Pakiak card actually gives you a guaranteed uh, potion recipe when you go into a Dungeoneering floor. So if you want to just slowly get it, make sure you get level 95 Dungeoneering and just get that card every single day. Eventually you'll get Pakiak cards uh, and you will eventually unlock all of these recipes. Once you get all the recipes, uh, all you have to do is go ahead and not open the shop, but view the recipes. And the five different types of overloads that you can actually unlock are all right down here. As you can see, it gives you an explanation of what exactly they do. Uh, and you do have to pay some money to unlock them. I believe the Holy Overload is 600,000, Searing is 700, Overload Salve is 800. Supreme is 900 and the Supreme Overload Salve is 1 million GP that you have to spend. So all in all you're going to be spending probably about 4 to 4.5 million if you are wanting to unlock all of these. But honestly just unlock the ones you plan on using. Uh, I don't have the Searing Overload Potion or the Overload Salve unlocked because I've never used those. Uh, and if I ever do choose to use them I will unlock them when I choose to do that. One additional thing I would like to mention though is if you are at level 95 Dungeoneering and you get the Pakiak, uh, the token, all you're going to do is go into Dungeoneering Floor and you can actually get one of these uh, paid for basically for free. Uh, so the next time that I get a Pakiak token I'm going to be getting 500,000 GP just for free because it will automatically unlock the next potion. Obviously that does take a little while because you need to unlock all the previous potions and it just continuously ticks up all these potions. So the overloads are going to be one of the last ones that actually unlocks. Uh, but if you're patient enough, you will get enough of the Pakiak tokens. Without further ado, let's go ahead and go into each of the individual overloads and see which ones is going to be the best one for you. Okay, so the way that I'm going to format this video is I'm going to talk about the original overloads first. And then I will go from cheapest to most expensive options. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that the first option I'm going to talk about is going to be the best. Uh, you are going to have to decide that for yourself, but I will give you a couple suggestions on which overloads to be using. So let's start out with Overload 3 Dose. I am going to talk about them as if they are in a flask, just because all of the other overloads are going to be using the Crystal Flask and are going to be 6 doses. But on this little explanation that I have here, it shows you how to make an Overload 3 dose. As you can see, you need one of each of the Extreme Potions, which you do have to make yourself. Uh, all of these costs are going to be assuming that you are 
already making them yourself. Uh, it does give you some herb lore experience when making these extreme potions. Then you add a clean torso to it and get a thousand herb lore experience. It does cost about 51,000 GP to make a 3-dose, or if you're talking about the flasks, it's going to cost you 110,000 per overload flask. So it's a relatively expensive way of using overloads. Uh, it costs 183,000 per hour, and seeing as how it doesn't have any extra benefits, basically the only thing you're going to be doing with these is using these overloads to make the better overload potions assuming that you have Prefendus unlocked and you have any of the other overloads uh, any of the other recipes for the overloads unlocked the first combination potion that I want to talk about is the searing overload potion basically it's a combination of super anti-fire and overload potion how you make it is you have a 4 dose super anti-fire a 4 dose overload and one crystal flask to make six doses of searing overload. This only costs you 73,000 instead of if you were going to try to make overload flasks it would cost you 110,000 so it's extremely cheap in comparison. The only downside to it is you have to make the super anti-fire potion which does require you to, to collect some desert phoenix feathers which although not too bad does increase the amount of time that it takes to create these potions but for the amount of GP that you save it is definitely well worth it if you are looking at having an overload potion that also has super anti-fire at the same time the second combination overload potion I want to talk about is the holy overload potion this one is a combination of the prayer renewal as well as the overload potion requiring four doses of each of those and one crystal flask to make six doses of holy overload potion. Now this does cost a little bit more than the searing potion at 85,000 GP per flask approximately or 142,000 GP per hour but again it's much cheaper than just getting the overload flasks just as a base level so again definitely worth using instead of a standard overload flask and on top of that, you're actually getting the prayer renewal effect, which, although is rather minor, uh, it makes it so that you don't have to bring a prayer renewal with you, which would originally cost you GP anyway if you were planning on using prayer points. Again, a very cheap option, and it doesn't require you to collect anything additional. All it is is two buyable things, and you combine them together. So definitely a decent option. The third and final traditional combination overload potion is going to be the overload salve. This is a little bit more complicated than the other two because it kind of combines a few potions all together. Uh, but let's go ahead and just run down the list of everything that this potion gives you. Uh, first off, it does give you the overload effect, obviously. It gives you prayer renewal effect. Uh, whenever you drink this, you also get the equivalent of one dose of prayer potion. On top of that, you also get the super anti-poison effect and the super anti-fire effect. All that comes at a little bit of a cost. It does cost 102,000 GP per hour, or per flask, coming in at 170,000 GP per hour. So quite a bit of additional cost. If you are not going to be using the super anti-poison or the super anti-fire, this is obviously not worth using. If you are going to be using that, it does save you having to get a flask. Uh, so I would say worth it. Uh, I think there's better options out there and the unlock cost is relatively high for this potion. So unless if you're going to be using this a lot in something like QBD or something like that, uh, I would say pass on this overload specifically. The next combination potion is the Supreme Overload Potion. Now, this seems like it's just a lot of additional cost for not really that much. All it does is actually increase your level by two additional on top of a regular overload potion. But hear me out for a couple of seconds. Basically, all you do is you combine a four dose overload potion with four doses of each of the super potion effects. So super magic, ranging, strength, defense, and attack, as well as a crystal flask, and you will get a supreme overload potion. Now, only a plus two boost for basically an additional 60,000 
GP per hour uh, because it does cost approximately 112,000 per flask and you could get it for like 85,000 per flask with holy overloads. It seems pretty steep if you think about it for not too long. Uh, but all you're really doing is paying an additional 40,000 GP per hour for an additional like 5% uh, DPS increase. So I actually think that these are worth using. Uh, it's really good just on that aspect if you are concerned about trying to kill a boss uh, such as Telos or Araxor this is going to give you a little bit of DPS increase and on top of that the additional defense uh, it could make it so that you survive instead of die in some of these higher level bosses so definitely worth using in higher level bosses mid to low tier bosses it is entirely up to you I personally enjoy using them just because I like that little bit of additional DPS increase and I like to try to get things done as quickly as possible but it may be worthwhile actually saving a little bit money on your overloads and just taking a slight DPS decrease. And last but not least comes the Supreme Overload Salve. Now this is the most expensive flask coming in at 146,000 per flask or 243,000 GP per hour. So it's like a quarter of a million GP that you're spending per hour to use the Supreme Overload Salves. But hang with me a second and I will actually explain why these are actually worth using. I didn't realize how good these were until I decided to do this analysis and it's definitely swayed me how good these are. Basically, you first off you have to make the Supreme Overload Potion, so you do have to have both the Supreme Overload Potion and the Supreme Overload Salve unlocked. So you're going to be spending about 2 million GP just to unlock the ability to make the Supreme Overload Salves. But look at all the effects that it gives you. It gives you the Overload Effect plus 2. It gives you the Prayer Renewal Effect, the Prayer Potion Effect, the Super Anti-Poison Effect, and the Super Anti-Fire Effect. If you're going to be using the Super Anti-Poison or the Super Anti-Fire Effect, straight up worth using. Not even a question. If you want to have the Supreme Overload Potion, and you're going to be using any prayer points on top of the anti-fire or the super anti-fire definitely worth using basically any higher level boss that either uses fire or poisons you occasionally definitely use these uh, but even if you don't need the super anti-fire or the super anti-poison they are actually pretty close to worth using I personally use them with everything now uh, just because they are so close to being worth using and they give you prayer points uh, so they're in my opinion the best overload to use the reason why I'm saying that they're very close to worth using is because they basically give you six doses of prayer renewal as well as six doses of prayer potion which is worth 29,000 GP if you just want the sips of them uh, not including if you are actually going to put them into flasks or anything. And all they cost is 34,000 GP to actually make. So you're losing 5,000 GP. You're able to put three different potions all into one. And you don't have to pay for the flasks to make potion flasks or, or prayer potion flasks or the prayer renewal flasks. So it saves actually quite significant amount of money if you are at all strained for uh, inventory space. If you have the need for super anti-poison or a super anti-fire, straight up the best potion in the game to use. Uh, the only other potential option would be the overload salve, but like I was talking about, they are very marginally close to being worth using. And if you're going to be doing something that needs the anti-fire or the anti-poison anyhow you're probably going to want to have supreme overload just for that extra DPS as well for the higher level bosses so this is my golden star this is where I'm gonna put my pin and I'm gonna say this is gonna be the best overload in the game despite the cost that it's gonna cost you okay so let's sum it all up here really quick basically the Supreme Overload Salve is going to be your best option if you have level 99 Herblore already. Uh, it does cost the most, but if you are going to be using a Supreme Overload, 
you probably are going to want to be using prayer at the same time. And as long as you're using prayer at the same time as Supreme Overload, definitely worth making these salves. Uh, on top of that, you actually get some herb lore experience as well, so definitely worth doing. If you are trying to do some lower level bosses that you do want overloads for for some reason, uh, Searing Overload is going to be your cheapest option, uh, but if you don't want to actually collect those Desert Feathers, go ahead and use Holy Overloads. All in all, Overloads are probably the best thing to unlock in the game if you're going to be doing bossing, and I hope that you guys all figure out which one you want to use. If you guys do all enjoy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all my future content. I'd love it if you leave a like and a comment as well. As always though, have a good one.